safety is a serious consideration when growing sprouts. Uh, sprouts have been associated with several foodborne illnesses, including Salmonella, E. coli, and Listeria. The disease agents are most commonly introduced through seed, and the environment in which we grow our sprouts uh, is the same conditions that encourage disease development. So we want to start with the proper seed. Look for seeds that are specifically labeled for growing sprouts. And some of these seeds are actually certified pathogen free. That's a great characteristic to look for when you're selecting your seeds for sprouting. Never use seed intended for planting in the garden because these are often treated with fungicides that are very dangerous for us to consume. The next step we want to do is sterilize all of our work surfaces uh, and all of the equipment that we're going to be using for sprouting. This includes jars or if we're using plastic trays, any measuring spoons or other devices we might use. Sterilize those in boiling water. That's the best method to get those nice and clean. Now sterilizing the seed itself can be a little bit tricky. You might see some web resources suggest cleaning them in a diluted bleach solution, but that is not recommended because household bleach is not safe for human consumption. If you do wish to sterilize seeds, you can follow the method recommended by the University of California's Department of Agriculture and Natural Resources, and that involves heating the seeds in a solution of 3% hydrogen peroxide heated to 140 degrees. And you would put your seeds in, uh, make sure they're covered, and heat those for five minutes in the peroxide solution. Afterwards, you need to rinse these very thoroughly to clean off all the hydrogen peroxide before you begin your sprouting. Now, there are certain populations that are more at risk for foodborne illnesses. That includes very young children, elderly persons, and people who have immune deficiencies. Foodborne illnesses are associated with raw sprouts. We recommend cooking any type of sprout before you consume them to reduce your risk of an illness. Now, all of the sprouting methods that we've shared in our segments follow the most recent research-based recommendations. Following these simple steps can help you safely produce a delicious crop of sprouts in your own home. Mm -hmm.